Hey guys, James Nation here with Technic Nation. And if you're in the market for a uh, security system for your home or maybe even your office, then stick around and let me tell you more about the Arlo Pro 2 by Netgear. All right, so as always, I'm gonna talk about some of the features with the product, uh, what you get with the product, and then I'm gonna give you some of my thoughts on what I liked, what I didn't, uh, what I didn't like. So uh, first, let's talk about what's included with the package. Now, uh, Netgear sent me the two camera setup. So of course, I have two cameras. Uh, I have one here. Um, you also have the main base station, uh, which is kind of the heart and soul of, of the system and how everything communicates through the Wi-Fi. Of course, you have two batteries. Uh, you've got an Ethernet cable, a couple of mounts, and uh, the battery charger. All right, so the battery, as you would guess, is located inside the camera case. It's very easy to get to, rechargeable. Uh, it does have a long battery life. We'll talk more about that. Uh, the thing I wanted to show you was the mount that comes with this. Now I'll admit, when I first opened up the box and I saw this little thing, I thought, well, there's no way uh, this is going to be strong enough to hold the camera up when you know the wind comes, or just even in general, because these aren't, uh, they're not exactly light. But let me show you how strong the magnet is, uh, and you'll see why this is, does a very good job of actually holding this up. So as soon as you get close, there you go. And now this is not a loose fit. Uh, I mean, that is that takes a little bit of force, a lot of force to get that unplugged. So as you can expect, uh, or as you can guess, this little thing, while it looks small, does a very good job of uh, mounting the camera. Uh, it's a simple keyhole setup. So uh, it does come with a couple of screws. So put those in wherever you want. Slide that down on top, and then you have a pretty wide range of motion that you can uh, use for setting up the camera. So uh, if my hand is the pretend wall, then as you can see, uh, the camera can go pretty far down before it kind of bottoms out. Uh, obviously, it can go very high, uh, and then left to right is pretty good. I don't know exactly what those angles work out to, but um, for what I've used it for, the range of motion has been... Uh, more than adequate um, for finding that kind of sweet spot with the setup. The camera is, of course, full HD, 1080p, and it has a 130 degree wide angle lens, um, which is more than enough, uh, or at least it has been in my experience, to kind of capture the, the full scene. Uh, I really don't think you'll find many cameras or any cameras that have uh, more than 130 degrees. It's, it's fairly wide. Um, as far as the uh, the quality of the video, as you'll see, I'm, I'm going to put some up um, throughout this video review so you can see uh, it's really good. And, uh, you know, I've been thoroughly impressed by the quality. Uh, I've used other cameras in the past that were HD, but only 720. And you wouldn't think the jump to 1080 would make a big difference, but um, it it did with the Arlo Pro. Maybe it's just a, a better camera in general. Maybe it's not the resolution as much as, as it is, you know, the lenses and the processor or whatever. Uh, but uh, it does a very good job of capturing just your standard daylight um, video footage. Uh, it also has night vision, and it's not, uh, it's not accomplished with LED lights, which I, I think a lot of security cameras have used in the past. This truly has night vision. There's no additional illumination, um, so it's a little more discreet. Uh, it's not really going to draw attention to itself. And the night vision, night vision is really good. Again, I'll, I'll show some samples throughout the video, um, but you'll see just how good this thing is at, uh, at capturing uh, footage at night. So other features of the Arlo Pro 2 uh, of course, it is weather resistant. Uh, it's, I believe, IP65. And uh, the rep that I spoke with said that these things will withstand uh, a hurricane. So, uh, you know, I haven't subjected them to a hurricane yet, but they've been outside for almost three months now. And I've never had any issues with 
uh, with the um, exposure to sun, to wind, to rain, anything. So uh, that um, that's always a good thing. Now, as I mentioned, we do have rechargeable batteries, and uh, I'm not sure what the advertised life is uh, for the batteries. I want to say it's six months. Could be wrong on that. But for me, uh, I've had these, again, for three months. They have been on, of course, all the time. And they've been in fairly high traffic areas, so it's not like they're not being triggered often. Um, but after three months, both of my cameras, ironically enough, are at 50% battery life, and they have not been charged. Um, so I would imagine six months would be um, an adequate total lifespan for the battery before you have to take the, the camera down and take that battery out to get charged. Now Arlo does sell some accessories, one of those being a solar panel that you can mount next to your camera. And um, that way you basically never have to take the camera down to recharge it. It's just constantly being powered by the, those solar panels. So if it's in a remote spot, maybe you've got it high up on a you know two-story house or somewhere where it's just not convenient to to get to two maybe three times a year then that of course is an option um, I want to say those run about eighty dollars but for me and I think for most people the number of times that you've got to take these things down to charge them is so small that uh, you'd probably be okay without that again unless your uh, your camera is located in some hard to reach area um, another feature of the Arlo Pro 2 is the two-way communication so through the app on your phone uh, or tablet, whatever the case may be, you can uh, communicate with uh, your camera. So let's say uh, your best friend comes over to the house, you get a notification uh, that the camera has been triggered. When you go to your library of videos and you see that you know Joe's at the house, um, you can then switch over to the live view and at that point, uh, you can open up the two-way communication. So uh, I've never really used this other than just for, for kind of entertainment purposes. Uh, but when I have used it, it's worked very well. There is a slight delay um, and actually switching over to the live view and then selecting the two-way communication. And then there's a, a delay in that sync up to happen. So... You know, it, it's not uh, it's not an instant kind of, oh, someone's at the house, I see a video, boom, two is going. But again, uh, for as often as you're, or as seldom as you're going to use this, um, you know, that 10 to 15 second delay, it's probably not going to be a big deal. Um, but it is nice to have if, uh, you know, if you uh, have a need for that. So for me, one of the biggest selling points for the Arlo setup is their cloud storage. You get seven days of storage for free, and that's up to five cameras, and that's free. Now, a lot of companies, most companies, charge for that type of service. So the fact that Arlo includes that with their product, um, I think is a big selling point. So a few features that I haven't been able to take advantage of are the continuous video recording, a CVR, the three second lookup, and the motion detecting detection zone kind of customization. Uh, the reason being is those features are only available when you have the unit um, plugged into an electrical outlet. They don't work on the uh, strictly off battery because they're going to pull a lot more um, power from it. And uh, I guess the diminished battery life is so much that I guess Arlo assumed that uh, it wouldn't be useful. So, but with those, if you do have your unit, you know, uh, either plugged into an outlet outdoors or maybe you're using these inside and they're plugged in, um, the continuous video recording gives you a 24 seven feed. So it's not motion activated, it's just on all the time, um, which I guess would be great for, you know, a warehouse or, uh, you know, if you're really concerned with the security in your house, then that's a, a great feature to have. The three second lookup, Essentially what that does is anytime motion triggers the camera to record the video, uh, it will automatically record the, or, you know, record the three seconds prior to that trigger. Um, so, you know, sometimes there's a slight delay or it seems like there's a slight delay and when you think that motion should trigger, 
Um, so with that three second look or three second backup, uh, you're going to capture anything that happened prior to that. So it just gives you a little more, a um, little more coverage. And uh, the the last feature, the activity zones. So with the with the the activity zone customization, you can basically uh, tune out certain areas of the the screen. So let's say you have yours mounted um, over your front door. Uh, you have it hardwired, so you can use this feature. And let's say there's a, a a large bush by the front door that is constantly being blown in the wind. So with the activity zone, you can basically tell it to disregard anything that happens in that little block or that section, uh, so you're not going to get those false alarms. So again, those are pretty handy features, uh, but only available if you have it plugged in, uh, and it's not something I've been able to take advantage of. Now, viewing the activity, uh, the videos that get recorded, um, all of that can happen through your phone, uh, through the Arlo app. So you're gonna get notifications through the application, uh, and then once you're in the app, you can view your seven-day window of recordings, um, and you can also kind of customize uh, some other areas of the camera, so if you want to uh, turn on or turn off the night vision. You have that capability. Uh, you can also um, check your connection strength to see how strong the um, connection with the camera and the base is. Uh, of course, you know you do always have to have that connection made. Um, you can turn on or turn off the both the microphone or the speaker, and uh, you can also adjust the motion uh, sensitivity uh, which it's actually a pretty handy little setup uh, there's a small red LED that you really can't see unless it's on but um, when you're going through that setup process the red LED will light up anytime the camera senses that motion so you can dial that up or dial that back uh, dial it down depending on kind of uh, how you how you want it to be um, or how sensitive you want it to be. So one of the things that I really like about the Arlo Pro 2 is the portability that you get with the fact that they are battery powered and they don't have to be plugged in. So as long as the camera can maintain a signal to the control center or base station, whatever you want to call it, um, as long as it can maintain that connection between the two of them, uh, you're free to use this anywhere you want which is really handy. Uh, you know, you can throw it up over your door, use it for a couple of weeks, see if, you know, you're getting the activity that you want. Uh, and if you don't like it, simply, you know, pop this little keyhole screw mount down. This pulls up, put a new screw in somewhere else, and boom, you're up and going. So, you know, we have, uh, my family and I have used these in several locations, and we've even used them on our back fence to to watch the 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 animal animal nightlife because um, during the winter we have deer that like to roam around the neighborhood and uh, so we can throw those out there and and kind of see the deer coming and going in the middle of the night which is pretty cool so uh, very um, very adaptable to whatever use that you um, you may have for it and uh, that's that's a big selling point. Another piece that I really like and I've kind of talked about before was the, the cloud storage and the fact that you get seven days of recordings for up to five cameras for free. Um, other companies like Nest and Canary, they charge $100 a year for that type of service. So the fact that Arlo includes that free of charge is pretty great. Um, now, if you go back and look at the 24-7 uh, um, continuous video recording that we talked about. Now, if you're going to go down that route, you do have to pay for a plan, um, which is understandable. That's a lot of footage that you're asking them to record. But for just the average Joe that's using this simply as a motion camera, you're not going to pay for anything extra um, as long as seven days is enough for you. And of course, any videos that do come through your library, you can download those to save later. Um, so it's not like after seven days it's it's gone. You always um, can save it and, and uh, keep it for down the road. 
So the other thing that I really like about the Arlo Pro 2 is just how good the video quality is um, and the sound quality for that matter. But, uh, you know, I've, I've already shown you guys several samples of videos in the day, videos at night. But, uh, I mean, it's truly amazing to me just how clear the picture is, um, especially at night. The, the night vision gets me. I'm, I guess I'm a sucker for night vision, but um, I was fairly blown away by the quality and uh, I think you probably will be too. Now the Arlo Pro 2 retails for $479 with the two camera setup like I have, which you might think that's a lot of money uh, and it's, uh, you know, maybe that's a fair assessment. That is a fair chunk of change. But when you look at the competition, uh, like the Nest and the Canary, those two companies, you can get a two camera setup for uh, 350 or 380 respectively. So they do come in 100 to $130 less than the Arlo Pro 2. But like I've talked about, that cloud storage, you're going to pay 100 bucks a year for Nest and 100 bucks a year for Canary. And so essentially after your first year of using these, they're going to be even. You will have spent um, you know, 450 or 480 on the Nest or the Canary or 480 on the Arlo. After day one of the first year, uh, this is just going to every day be more and more affordable and uh, more, uh, more cheap than the, the competition out there because you're not paying for that cloud storage. If I'm going to drop that much money on a product, whether it's 350 or 480, I don't want to have to continue to pay every month or every year just to use it. So that's my review of the Arlo Pro 2 by Netgear. Uh, I hope you have found this review useful. If you have any questions or comments, as always, please feel free to leave those uh, below and I'll be happy to address them. But um, otherwise, hope it was useful and uh, thanks for watching.